So, when I was completing my weekly raids, this happened. Enough essence of the oversoul to fully craft the Necrochasm's Catalyst. I've had the base weapon for a while, but held off on using it until I have the weapon in its best possible state. And I'm happy to confirm it feels great. It holds its weight even as the content gets harder. It can be used anywhere, but some build options really bring out the best in the Necrochasm. Starting with the Catalyst, it adds Outlaw. The community verdict on this is mainly, well, is that all? But hold on, let Bungie cook on this one. It allows the gun's gameplay loop to flow much better, and this one's all about the crits, so it will be active on pretty much every final blow. It's enough to max out the reload stat, and has a reload multiplier on top of that to make it feel extra crisp. And for how the weapon works in general gameplay, landing crit final blows is everything. Don't hit your crits and it's basically just a normal auto rifle, but if you can chain crit final blows, then there's a hell of a lot of potential. Each crit final blow will cause the target to explode like a curse for all. The AoE damage, as well as leaving a lingering poison damage on all targets hit. And on those targets affected by poison, they will also explode on death, regardless of whether it's dealt by crit damage or not. Secondly, reloading after a precision final blow, and here's where the outlaw comes in, pushes up Necrochasm's rate of fire to 900 RPM and boosts stability and aim assist stats. And since the base stability and aim assist is really high, this is enough to max out them both. This results in a truly amazing feeling weapon. The same could also be achieved by reloading after a final blow with the Cursed Thrall explosion. So that's the whole weapon in a nutshell. But how about all the other parts of the build which can enhance this one further? The first one most people will think of is the Necrotic Grips. And these do work as you would hope, enhancing the poison damage to last longer and deal more damage as well as allowing it to spread to nearby targets. The other neat thing is that normally Necrochasm needs crits to activate the Curse for All effect, with its only other activation criteria being on defeating a poison target. Well, the Necrotic Grips apply poison on any melee hit, charged or uncharged, so following up with the Necrochasm will cause a Curse for All explosion regardless of a crit final blow or not. And the next exotic which complements the Necrochasm really well is a Chromatic Fire. Sorry for the non-Warlock players, but it just so happens that both the best synergies happen to be with Warlock. And this one's for a double explosion goodness. The first thing to note is the Curse for All explosion is classed as Arc Damage. There's a few things you can do with that. Playing on an Arc subclass will make Precision Final Blows deal an additional Arc Explosion which blinds. But so that means on any crit final blow you're getting 2 blasts of damage, spreading poison damage, and blinding all nearby targets. Now this can also grant Amplified. As I said before, the explosion is classed as Arc, and this also gives some additional fragment synergies. Spark of Discharge. Since it's Arc damage, the explosion can also generate Ionic Traces. Spark of Brilliance. Defeated blinding targets creates another blinding explosion. It's overkill, but I mean, you can get three explosions on a single kill. Finally, the Stasis subclass really impressed me too. A lot of this comes from Whisper of Rending, which makes primary ammo weapons deal 50% increased damage to frozen targets making it much easier to take down those high health targets with Necrochasm. And it's also much harder to miss crits against a target which just straight up isn't moving. Now you could stick with Chromatic Fire here, and it will instead apply slow stacks on nearby targets, which is still pretty great. Or you could run Osmiomancy Gloves, cycle cold snap grenades, or upgrade them to Stasis Turrets. I found the other aspect, Ice Flare Bolts, to be fantastic at keeping the freeze chain going. Overall, the Necrochasm just feels amazing. Just remember you need to utilise it where it's supposed to be used, clearing out groups of ads. And despite it being a very spammy high rate of fire option, precision is absolutely needed to get the best out of it, but with practice can be very rewarding. Thank you for watching.